when you're tapping this out, you better put lots of oil and lots of, lots of elbow grease too. Hey guys, check this out. You got an old car and you want to hook one of these up to it and say your old car has a light on it and there's nowhere else to plug this in. So you got to have somewhere to plug this in so it'll read the temperature, you know, on your gauge. So I've come up with an idea that worked for me, might work for you. It's get one of these off Amazon. It's a radiator hose adapter. And I will put a picture of it from where I got it on Amazon. You can get this off Amazon and uh, they're not gonna come with the right size hole. It's gonna say quarter inch, but you're gonna need it to be like half inch tap. So what I did was, is I bought this and I drilled it out with this. Now you wanna make sure that you use a drill press when you drill this, because this is gonna go through straight and it needs to be straight as possible. So use a drill press, drill it out, then get you one of these half inch, or this is actually a um, three eighths. It's a three eighths tap and it's a NPT 18, three eighths NPT 18. And I bought this in a kit and this is what my kit looks like right here. Also got that off the website, Amazon. And what you do is you'll tap this out. Now, let me tell you something. When you're tapping this out, you better put lots of oil and lots of, lots of elbow grease too. And use you some kind of cheater pipe of some kind. Because this thing is tough cutting it. And I, I started my hole with a 9 sixteenths uh, bit. And that's what I started it with. And I was able to tap it with that. But it took a lot of elbow grease. I'm telling you, it was tough. And I was very careful and I kept spraying it to keep it from overheating and cracking this. You don't want to crack it. And this is a 44 millimeter. This is going to go in my car on the, on the uh, side coming out of the block. So where the, where the water flow is going through the system, this is going to come on the outside of that, the, the back side of it. Because I want the temperature to be red after it goes through my block. And that way I get a more accurate reading. You don't want to put it on front of your block because that's where your cooler water is going to be coming from the radiator. You don't want that. You want it coming out of the block. How hot is it coming out of the block? And this is what it does here is this part here. Just go, you get this with your kit. This part comes with this right here. And this is the 3818 MPT. And you'll take this right here on this end and you just put it in here. And you'll see it screws into that. And you'll see how this goes down inside there. And it'll read that temperature like you want it to. And you'll just have to tighten this up. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to put mine on. Don't run it straight up and down because you have tendency your hood might be hitting this or something. So run it at an angle. You don't want it down because you don't want you know, water on it. Just do, do it like this right here at an angle. And it has this like glow shift is the name of this one. And it'll show right there, you know, straight up and down. And it'll make it look for a nice, neat installation. And you can monitor your temperature of your vehicle. And that'll give you the proper reading. And then you can hook this up in your car, your older car, and you can still have your overheat light, which is, you know, you're paying attention. You're going to see a light come up on the dash before you see a needle move into the, into the hot side. So, but if you want to keep up with how hot it is, this is a good way to do it. And I'm going to be, I'm going to be hooking this up to my car here shortly. Thank you guys for watching.